Round three. And yeah, sure. I suppose this is acceptable. Move these pesky stops. All right, no one drop. Good for us. So if we hit lands in one of the next two turns, I think we'll be off uh, to a good start. A forest would be money. No, I don't want it. <laughs> uh, I guess I take that back. I'll take it. Hopefully we can get a, avoid the forest to play this voiceless spirit off a blue or a white source. So we can trade with that guy. Or we can, you know, stall him at least with the, the stitcher sack block. Well, I don't want to give his guys forest walk. I really don't. Hmm, that, that's a bummer. If I do play a forest, I'm going to be strictly racing. And I don't know what else he has. Huh. I can play a Stitchers to double block one. And then... I'd like to kill one at least this turn. One... Deal with one I can, yeah. I think I just run up the stitchers, double block a dryad. Hopefully we don't get tricked out. That'll set us really far back. Which I he's got to have a trick, but I gotta try. Yeah, this is gonna hurt. That's gonna really hurt us. Those force walk guys, man. They're pesky. Oh, this is this is not good. Pilgrim into burden. He's gonna be walloping us. Take five, go to eleven. All right. Oh boy. Oh, that's not terrible. Fate Flower could come into play next turn. Oh, we're going to be a little shy of it. Keep our Ranger's Guile up. Attacks. So we could put two guys here and guile, and then we take three, but he's down his big man. He's going to have a follow-up play. Our board will be wiped going into an iron right. Other choices we chump. Yeah, I think we try to kill the Briar Pack Alpha. Get tricked out again and then basically call that a game. Alrighty. 
and a whole no new set of problems. Land. Uh, Cellar door is not what I want. Iron right. Or we can play voiceless. Yeah, let's lead with voiceless spirit. So if he swings in with both, we're gonna go to five. And he's got a whole bunch of gas. His deck went off on us. <laughs> yeah, buddy. There goes the iron right. Or maybe he takes the, the money card. Alrighty, that's actually I don't mind that. We would have had a bunch of tokens, but they would have been one ones instead of two fives. Alrighty, so just dropping a six, slowing him down a bit. Land, still want it. Oh, that's pretty good. And I think we do have to get him out there. So we're going to take four, dropping us to two, but then we go, we gain three the next turn. Yeah, we got to get the life gain going. It's our only shot out of this mess. Pure defense. No reason to swing. Hopefully he just remains trickless. Or doesn't give us a chance. Alright, well we are officially in the fateful hour. Which means we can swing in huge. Oh my god. <laughs> Burn a guilt off the top. Well, I guess he has just the one. Three, four, five, so... Yeah, we gotta swing in, otherwise we die to that. So he's going to get a wolf. But we're going to kill a bunch of stuff. We can let one through. May have to double up to kill the cage breakers. Let's see if we're if we can manage that. So we put two here and one here we take five. So we can't do that. So we gotta kill that block there and kill that. We take three and next turn he's gonna get a bunch more wolves but we can't kill it otherwise we die so we gotta do it like that yep such is the play need something at the top Cathar's better than nothing, I suppose. Another blocker. Can't really play the cellar door. Oh, I suppose we can. It's only two. Three to activate. I bet he just shit his pants. So, gotta swing in. Uh, that 
two life. Bit of an issue. The hour is fateful. We gotta kill this cage breaker, otherwise we're just spinning our wheels in the mud. Let's not forget that. Well, that's good. Yeah, if, that's that's good. I like it. All right. Still want to burn a guilt. Land's not gonna do it for us. Show me creature. You know, he's got a ton of creatures. Maybe we should have done to him this game. <laughs> so he's going to be swinging at us with a 5-5. Five, five. If we... Either way. So he's going to get two wolves. So we have enough to block all five. Of his things. So, no swing here. It doesn't do anything unless we sack the Cathar. Woody block. Probably not. And then do we just die if we do that? No, we'll be up to six. If he swings in with two wolves. One, two, three... So we'll take three, four, five, six, and we'll be at six, so we're going to need two guys to kill that, or unless we pump with just one guy. See, so yeah, I think we swing with the Inquisitor. Yeah, why not? If we can kill it now, it's gravy. But I think it'll work out so we can take the wolf hits, and with the Cathar, we can sack to... Oh, we're out of Fateful Hour. Shit. That was a huge... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> that did not enter my thinking. That's a drastic mistake. That's real bad. Oh no. Well, maybe we can get out of this yet. Block there. Block there. Chump there. Trade there. And then for the crackback. We'll be at Fate Flower. Three, six, seven, only seven. Kind of dug us at ourselves into this hole, though. Well, can we. That's five. So we can sack and deal five to that. Oh, that's gonna be four. Yeah, this is this is what we do. We kill the cage breaker and go to one. Creature, a townsfolk off the top. Gonna need some bodies. Gonna need a zombie. <laughs> I 
Well, we got a swing. That's a given. And do we just die? Block the three biggest. Let me take three. So yeah, we're not dead yet by the looks of things. Maybe we can stabilize yet. And yeah, we're going to have to jump away our pilgrim. I bet he wish he night terror the way the iron right. Hamlet Captain. Well, I'll keep the zombie as a secret. It'll be a surprise. Set up our stop. Is this only game one? <laughs> We're going to have to speed through two and three if we get that far. Got to tap that down. See if he goes for it. It's going to come off the back of a cellar door. Nope, he's not getting, not getting after it. So how many creatures have we seen? Pretty good amount. So I think we we door him. What's in his hand? Alright, that doesn't kill us. Thankfully. Bump of the night, plus blazing torch. Double X, blazing torch. Yeah, zombie. Uh, I can't even count. I th <laughs> Three of the last four turns were lands. Is that about right? Can we just get in for the win? Well, let's see here. Three. We just try to fly in there. Gain the six, he cracks back. And he's got the two. Let's get the door going. Nothing. So, still have to gain life. And we hit him for three. He's going to swing back to the mandatory two. We can block, block, block. And that'll be three, but we'll be at six. Once we get out of Fate Flower, this is going to be smaller. If we swing here, it just gets blocked there. Well, he's going to have to kill something if we swing him with the captain as well. Because this is getting in, so anything else, he has to block everything. So let's tap some things and see how it looks like. This makes our humans bigger. He's got to block everything. Is this right? Screw it. I think it looks good. Oh shit! <laughs> he just swings back with a 5-5. Five, five. Shouldn't have swung in with the 
<laughs> Iron Ride. We just, uh, oh well, no, we'll be at, yeah, we're dead. That was very foolish. Don't ever say, screw it, and then hit the OK button. <laughs> oh no. So bad. Well, we are showing rebuke mana. Oh, man. Alrighty, so... We're not dead? And that was... What happened? Oh, yeah, he blocked and sacked. So, yeah, we are dead. From foolish plays. Ah, that's so bad. <laughs> to come so close. Oh, I'm so disappointed. <laughs> Screw it. That's that's how I go out. And a burn off the top. Oh, I think we would have gotten there. Oh. Spectral Rider? Spirits. Again, never remember. Uh, he did have the angel. Yeah, he must have something. Um. Ah, uh, it's getting so late. Well, anyway, I'm done with cellar door. I'm done with the 17 land count. Spectral Rider seems okay. And I like Clinging Mist now in this matchup. Here's your next Fism. Might be worth it. What did he have? I think we'll just run this. Chapel Geist also thumping. I think I can get him with Clinging Mist. Alright, let's get a quick win. Not with this turd. Oh, man. Yeah. Keeping a one-lander. I need a quick player. And a land off the top. I, I want to win a tournament so bad. <laughs> I'm going to have to review game one. That must be, that might be my biggest blunder of all time. Land! Ah, oh, made my day. Townsfolk in the mob, and we're going to be beating as hard as we can. Furiously. Another land? I think I traded token to get mob a little bigger. Or I can priest the next turn swing. Oh... I don't think I want to just throw away my dudes. So I'll play Priest. If we had a land, that'd be ideal. A green mana? Or a white mana? I'll be happy if he hits us for four. <laughs> oh, 
Well, we have our tapper. So yeah, let's uh, let's just develop our mana. Play the unruly mob. And I'm fine if he kills our token. Get our mob a little bigger. Get a little value out of it. Pump. I'll be fine going to 12 if he uses mana to pump this turn. Mystics, sure thing. Land? Well, it's not the land I wanted. But I'll play it. So we can burden, tap it down. Get in for some damage. We can burden the thing that we can't take care of, but can't really deal with this other than... No, that doesn't tap it. And we can tap that with our priest, so yeah. Definitely burn the mystics. And we'll get in for four. Township. Hmm, the question is if he has a play. I think I'll just tap the forest walker. See if he wants to use his turn to make mana. Doesn't even swing. Okay. Goodbye, Spectral Rider. Nice knowing ya. Hmm. Yeah, it's a flyer. Otherwise, our option is to tap, get it for four again, and then just tap this. And yeah, let's play Spirit. Trade Mob for Wolf. Doesn't seem that good to me. So I think I'll. Tap it, get in for three. And the next turn we take six, maybe. Yeah, I just want to get damage in. Keeping the pilgrim back to keep his mystics down. Gonna have to really go fast. Please excuse if I limit my commentary. Is he. What's he doing? Killing my priest? Killing my spirit? Alrighty, that makes sense. Mob will eat it up. Captain's not a bad draw. So I'll see if he wants to eat my guy to make my mob bigger. Maybe that was greedy. <laughs> Could have waited a turn to swing with big dudes. 
Would have been more damage overall. Is he pumping? Yikes. Land off the top. Sweet. Uh, he can double block to kill my mob. He's got no spirits. So he's probably just playing that as an angel. So I think I'm okay trading mob for two creatures or just the angel. Because then our voiceless spirit can start getting on. And I don't want to swing with the captain to lose it. I'd rather keep it back on defense. Or, I mean, the other option is swinging for two and he eats it, and then that just doesn't seem that good. If I do swing in with the captain, I get five damage in. And... He kills that, and I get five in. And this way, he goes down to four. Still need some help to get past this angel, but he can't swing in. But then I'm out blockers. This is always going to get through. This can pretty much eat up anything. If I swing all in, he cracks back. Four. Four, so ten. Or three, six, eleven. Yeah, I think I just go for it a little bit here. We're in top deck mode, and he's got a grip. So we'll trade with that, trade with that, and get five damage in. And my mob will get super big. Uh, just a buttload of creatures. <laughs> yeah, he was not upset at all about trading. So we need a burn of guilt. We need our other burn of guilt. Or something to kill this pilgrim, which I don't think we have. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, I think I tap down the Pilgrim and make him block. Make sure that Cage Breakers goes away. And now he can't swing in the Angel. He needs a creature. Please don't have one. Or removal. Please don't have a number of things. Yeah, pump up the township, bro. It'd be a miracle if we get out of this game. And then we're going to have to speed our asses through game three. Alright, we go down to four. Moreland hot off the top would be nice. Or something to just get rid of the, the alpha. Need something. If she doesn't do it. 
I'll show it to him. Well, that's another finals we didn't get. <laughs> I promise immediately after this I'm going to review game one. Almost got through this game. We got a good top deck, and maybe he had this the whole game, but I doubt it. So another 2-1 performance. But somewhat of a a newer deck I've never tried out. What are we drawing? Oh, Snapcaster. That would have been nice. But, uh... Got a Snapcaster. Broke even, if not a slightly ahead with the the aforementioned Snapcaster. But I hope you enjoyed it. I think the token deck kind of worked. Bad plays aside. Horrible plays aside. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm Randy. Seems good magic. Signing out.